हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टारगेट 100 इन मैथमेटिक्स बाय शिवेश कुमार सिंह एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट रेंज दिस इज़ द टॉपिक ऑफ द चैप्टर रिलेशन एंड फंक्शन इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियोस आई हैव एक्सप्लेन अबाउट व्हाट इज़ द रिलेशन व्हाट इज़ द फंक्शन एंड वट इज़ द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू एंड हाउ टू फाइंड द डोमेन इफ़ यू हैव मिस दैट दोज वीडियोज बाई चांस दैन प्लीज सी दोज वीडियोज एंड देन दिस वीडियो विल बी वेरी वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू सो वॉट इज़ द रेंज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस what is the meaning of range okay now for this let's consider these two sets for example this is set a and this is set b a function is defined from a to b and elements of a suppose it is a b c and elements of b is 1 2 3 4 okay now for example here if we consider a is related with 1 b is related with 3 and c is related with 2 so what will be the re relation in ordered pair relation can be written as a1 b3 and c2 okay or you can write it like this also fa is equal to 1 fb is equal to 3 and fc is equal to 2 now here a b and c these elements are called pre image what we say pre image and 1 3 2 they are called image okay now what else we can have we can understand from here uh, we can understand that elements of set a this is called domain elements of the set a is called domain and here b is called codomain okay if a function is defined from a to b then a will be called domain and b will be called codomain what is range range i have explained you before also range is the collection of all those elements of codomain which are related with domain so here you can see in the range in codomain you see all elements are not related here you can see 4 4 has no relation with any element okay so codomain will be 1 2 3 4 but range will be only 1 2 and 3 so what is the relation between range and codomain range is the subset of codomain okay range is the subset of codomain it can be equal also okay now so this is about range so what is the range range is always the second element if it is written in the form of ordered pair if not then after equal to this is range okay now we'll see how to find the range and for this we have two types of methods two methods by which we can find the range and first is by direct observation okay because you have seen some special types of functions also for example we can have fx is equal to greatest integer x okay now no step is required for such functions if you want to find the range only observation will help you to find the range how can we find see if you remember the definition of this uh, greatest integer x then you know its value is always an integer less than or equal to x so its value is always an integer so what will be the range range will be integer okay it it cannot be any it cannot be all real numbers it will be only integers okay similarly you can have another function like fx is equal to say absolute value of x modulus x so you know its value is always positive greater than or equal to 0 so its range will be semi closed interval 0 to infinity okay this will be the range so these are the some examples of direct function by which you can find the range similarly you can have trigonometric function also for example if you have fx is equal to cosine x cos x so you know that value of cos lies always from 0 minus 1 to 1 so its range will be minus 1 to 1 closed interval okay so these are some special functions by for which you can find the range directly no step is required for such functions okay now but 
if function is general then what is the step to find the range okay try to understand as i have explained you for the domain some steps are there to find the range also so what is the uh, what is the, what are the steps i'll take the example also for example suppose we need to find range of i'll take some simple example first x minus 2 okay we want to find the range of this function so i want you to understand the steps so that's what i have taken this simple function okay now first step will be write or you can say let fx is equal to y you will assume this thing okay and then you will put the value of fx whatever value is given you will put for example here this value is given to us so we'll write y is equal to x minus 2 okay now second step will be write x in terms of y only write x in terms of y only means in left hand side we must have only x and in uh, right side we must have an expression of y okay for example here if you want to write this then it can be written as x is equal to y plus 2 now after that what we will check we will check try to find those values of x try to find those values of y sorry not x because we are talking about the range x represents domain okay so try to find those values of y for which x cannot be defined for which x cannot be defined or it will not be defined in the domain okay make sure that you are checking the domain also sometimes it can be defined but that value of x will not lie in domain so that value will be meaningless for us okay now so try to find those values of y for which x cannot be defined so here can we find any value of y for which x cannot be defined I think no because if you consider minus 2 its value will be 0 if you consider plus 2 its value will be 4 if you consider y is equal to 0 then its value will be 2 so for all real values of x uh, sorry for all real values of y x can be defined so what does it mean it means if there is no such value if there is no value of y then what will be its range its range will be r set of real numbers means there is nothing to remove but if you have some values of y for which x cannot be defined then you will remove those values from the set of real numbers and the remaining set will be the range okay so here nothing can be removed here nothing has to be removed here because for all values of y x can be defined so here what will be the range its range will be set of all real numbers okay this is the simple step by which you can find the range now let's talk about some questions based on this step see we, this is the function and we have to find the range so what's the first step here we'll assume let y is equal to square root of 4 minus x square now we'll have to find the value of x in terms of y so what we'll do here we'll square both the sides yes so y square is equal to 4 minus x square it means x square is equal to 4 minus y square it means x is equal to square root of 4 minus y square okay now from this function you will understand one very important thing that fx will be always greater than or equal to zero okay now for this i have explained to you one thing that x square is equal to 25 and x is equal to square root of 25 are these equations same or they are different okay try to understand the difference between these two and if you got the answer then write it in the comment okay and if you have any confusion then still you can write in the comment okay so x is equal to square root of 4 minus y square now you can see x will not be real if 4 minus y square is negative okay because it is in the square root sign and a square root expression will not be a real number if it has negative number so what answer you are going to get here it will be 2 minus y times 2 plus y less than 0 
now to solve this inequality you have so many methods i am telling you the graphical method okay so what values of y you are getting here minus 2 and plus 2 so just plot a number line here minus infinity plus infinity and what are the values of y we got here minus 2 and plus 2 now from these three intervals we'll consider one value and we'll put in the inequality and we'll see where it is negative because we are dealing with the negative inequality okay so let's talk about this interval say for example we are taking y is equal to minus 3 here so if you are considering minus 3 see my dear students we are not concerned with the values we are concerned with their sign whether positive or negative so minus uh, sorry 2 minus y times 2 plus y for y is equal to minus 3 it will be minus minus plus so it will be positive and it will be negative so overall this result will be negative now minus 2 to 2 we are considering y is equal to 0 so if you consider y is equal to 0 then it will become positive this also will become positive so overall final result is positive okay and another third one 2 to infinity i am taking 3 here so put here value negative and here it will become positive so positive multiply negative overall answer will be negative okay so we can see here that from minus infinity to minus 2 function is negative inequality becoming negative and from 2 to infinity again this inequality becomes negative so we will not consider these two intervals so what does it mean it means y will be defined from minus 2 to plus 2 but here there here is a twist what is that it doesn't mean that range will be minus 2 to 2 no because i told you y is the value of fx means y is the range and you can see it cannot be negative so its range will be 0 to 2 okay because we cannot consider minus 2 to 0 so like this you can analyze the function and you can find the range easily similarly suppose we want to solve this equal equation fx is equal to 2 minus sine 3x and we have to find not the domain i forgot to change it is range okay so uh, we have to find the range so what we can do here you know that value of sine 3x it always lies from minus 1 to 1 so you can write like this minus 1 less than or equal to sine 3x less than or equal to plus 1 because this is the range of sine function now we want minus sine 3x yes so minus means inequality will be changed so it will be we'll, we are going to multiply by minus 1 multiply by minus 1 so it will become plus 1 greater than or equal to minus sine 3x greater than or equal to minus 1 okay now we want 2 also so add 2 in all the inequalities so it will be 3 greater than or equal to 2 minus sine 3x greater than or equal to 2 minus 1 means 1 and what is this this is the function fx so it will be 1 less than or equal to fx less than or equal to 3 so what is its range its range will be 1 2 3 see how easily we can find the range if you have some basic concepts of the function and their domain and range of the basic functions okay again you will practice some questions and if you have any problem then you can write in the comment i'll put i will upload another examples i'll try to consider some difficult examples also in my upcoming videos but if you think that such videos will help you to increase your knowledge please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends also thank you